Yeah. We're going to hand you an emergency. Stay. Yeah. Cartier, anytime you're ready. All right. Oh, you got to sit back and to your right for me. Thank you, sir. Okay. How's it going, dude? Um, I understand that you're not a big flyer. Not a real big one. You don't one, like no. to fly? You, you will fly. I will. But it's not your favorite thing. What, what are you scared of? It's going to fall? Yeah. Flying, I'm fine with. It's falling, I'm, I'm not fine Driving enough. in Arkansas yeah. is much worse than driving. I mean, than, you know, than driving around Arkansas. I mean, hey, wait worse. a minute, Mr. Nashville. Are you dissing my homeland? <laughs> hey, we've got the worst drivers <laughs> in the world in Nashville, <laughs> no. Tennessee. We'll put, I drove in Manhattan the other day, and it wasn't as bad as driving any time in Nashville. Oh, so I know. No, Little Rock careful. can get pretty Little Rock's strange. Pretty nice it can get that way, yeah. In this chair, mm -hmm. not that many years ago, said a guy who is now governor of Minnesota. Could I be talking to you today and you could be Billy Bob Thornton, governor of Arkansas in a few years? Would you run? Ha, ha. Uh, no. I would never, I you would never. You Ken Starr might investigate you? Yes. No. <laughs> and all that no, stuff I, that would come out would be bad, wouldn't it? Oh, no. Nah, I've got good stuff. Oh, but good. no, I, actually, I wouldn't, I would never be interested in politics. I would be horrible at it. First of all, I'm not very smart. You know, don't you have to be smart? No. Oh. <laughs> Look at the people that maybe are there. I can, maybe I can do it then. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't think I'll ever be a politician. That's that's kind of another form of show business, though, don't you think? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Big time. No question about it. Probably more scandalous than show business. You know, this character you play, as you see him over there over your shoulder, we can get him a date. He needs contacts. He needs mm -hmm. to get a haircut. Yes, he does. And he needs something done with his teeth. I think I think we'd start with the teeth. I think get the teeth taken care of, you know, the haircut's easy. Yeah. Maybe a little yeller. Well, aren't they? Uh, uh, did you create this guy? I mean, or did they do that for you? Or is this a Billy Bob Thornton creation? Oh, yeah. I just, yeah, I come you up with it. came to the show one day, okay, here's your well, character. Well, I don't just, you know, put the stuff on myself, but I go in there and say, here's what I want. And then they, they come up with it, and boy, oh, boy. He's homely. Uh, isn't he? He's a bit homely. But, but isn't he sweet? He is sweet. You feel, uh, you feel sorry for him. Yeah. And uh, he's a very humble guy, much like yourself. Oh, thank you. Mm. Do you remember back when you were the first time you ever really wanted to get in front of a camera or be on stage or something? You remember that first inkling you wanted to do that? Yeah, I really do. I was really young. My earliest memories are of wanting to be Elvis Presley. That's where you, you thought you were going to go into music? That's where your sure heart was? That's what I thought I was going to do. I had a, you know those things that elephants put their foot on in mm -hmm. the circus? Yeah, that's Risers. one foot, you know, whatever it is, look like a drum kind of mm -hmm. like that. I had one of those, a toy one when I was a kid and a Roy Rogers guitar, and I used to stand on that thing. I can't say a bad word on your show, can I? Um, <laughs> uh, do you bleep things? Yes, I will. Excellent. So I was standing on this elephant riser thing th that I had, and a Roy Rogers guitar, I was two and a half or something like that, with my hair butch waxed straight up, and I made up my own song. It was the first thing I ever created. It was a, con a song called Cat Shit on a Rat Box. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know where that line came from. Did you copyright from. that? Did you try to publish it later? Never did. Well, it's a good did. song. It could be played now. That's right. It's a little premature, probably, in the 50s <laughs> to do that. It's, what was interesting to you about it? Was it the fact that people were yelling at him and they thought he was cool? Or the thought that you could look cool and look at me? Or what was it that you wanted to do? It just looked like fun. You know, he looked like he was having a good time. Plus, I always wanted to be a lot of different things, you know. And, and Elvis was everything. You know, he got to be a crop duster. He'd be singing in a crop dusting plane. I thought, wow, that's cool. You know, there's a girl riding down the road in a uh, convertible car waving at him, and he's in a crop duster singing to her. Shit, why wouldn't you want to do that? <laughs> <I> totally <laughs> you know? agree. It's a, it's a great life. <laughs> you know, land the plane, go off with her, and then you become like a helicopter pilot because her daddy's rich or whatever. You know, that's great. I say, I look a little bit, I work all day. And I'm, okay. That's right. All right, we're going now. Bye. Thank I you. love the king. That's right. I got to meet the king twice. Did you? Yeah. No, you didn't.